people what's up how you all doing welcome back to another exciting video today we're going to be checking out this video from film focus it's titled times fathers paid for a child that wasn't theirs on paternity court it hurts me anytime i see videos of men having to have been paying child support or taking care of a child that's not theirs and what still the women actually know that the child was not theirs and they'll keep it a secret it's it hurts me like how how do these people breathe and live um sleep at night how do you treat another human being like this it's usually very painful for the men so they are going to be watching a few videos on times when fathers have to have to pay for paternity of children that were not theirs before we dive into it i'm Oge. Okay. welcome to the channel if it's your first time here good to have you here do well to like share subscribe turn the post notification bell if you'd like to appreciate what i do you love to tip me or something do well to use the super thanks button and i would really appreciate it let's dive straight into the video you two planning this baby and being together during the pregnancy. What happened that changed it? And back and there's a letter. Yo, like $28,000 in back child support. Taking most of my paycheck. I've never given it to me. I ain't got no child support yeah. once. After 37 years, a man came to paternity court to claim the paternity of his years. daughter. Today to prove, Christine, that you are her father. Here to right your wrongs. Yes, ma'am. Are you ready to see the first time in 21 years? Yes, ma'am. The daughter, however, doesn't believe he is the father. Ms. Turner, you don't believe Mr. Miles is your biological father? I do not. My mom says you are not my father. Well, why she changed her story, I have no idea. And why now I had the opportunity to be able to look for you because I wanted to see who you are. Took you 37 years to do that? I mean, I was 17 years old when I met your mom. And I'm hanging with my friends, and that's when I met your mom. We ended up breaking, uh, breaking off, and a few months later, I'm in court. I didn't even know she was pregnant. Got summons to go to court. He claims as a teenager, he was declared the father by the court, making him responsible for child support. Correct. Being named the legal father then makes you responsible for child support. You just out there, you're dating a young woman, you love her, you all get together, then you break up. When asked about the nature of their relationship, he had this to say. Were you both committed to one another? I was. I thought she was. She was with two other guys that I know of. Oh, wow. they were friends you knew? Yes, ma'am. Wow. They told me. This was after it, after we had broken up. I didn't know that until after we had broken up. It really upset me because I just had no idea that she was doing that. The daughter said that the mother kept telling her he is not the father. Believing was your biological father. I didn't meet Richard until I was 16 years old. I went to foster care for four years. I went through lots of therapy. I'm back today. <laughs> I'm strong. And you're not alone. Here's how he found out he owes child support and started paying. In 1992, we filed our taxes. Taxes came back and there's a letter. $28,000 in back child support. Wow. I just I just didn't have a clue that, that that was even there. What did you do to try to find her, Mr. Miles? People that you knew and telephone lines. Because I wasn't there. I was in Alabama. So I had no way of getting contact to anybody except through my family. When Miss Turner was asked if she was aware that he was paying child support, she gave the court a shocking revelation. Uh, my mom was staying with me. They had shipped a stack of checks. My daughter apparently went to the mail and got the mail your name is on this and it was a stack of child support checks where'd you get that from that should not be going to you your experience miss turner was this man takes me i spend time with him and his wife he says he's my father i didn't hear anything so why why did you just disappear i would have tried tried to try i couldn't take another trip up there i couldn't afford it my ass would have gotten in front of a judge it oh it was way funny. it was like almost a thousand dollars to get a paternity test back then her mother was not present in court, but she sent a statement that was read by Judge Lauren Lake. I met Rick at a bar and shortly after Rick and I split, I started seeing another man. When I add up the dates in my head, I conceived Christine. She had to be conceived around May 1979. Richard is not Christine's father. Does it change your opinion? Ms. Turner is your biological daughter? Uh, no. If you do find out today, are you willing to allow him to be in your life? 37 years, you could possibly move forward. Telling me how you wanted to have a relationship and how, and everything was going great. Say, I got new information. Because right I don't want to face failure from you again. Ms. Turner, you've been hurt a lot, and we have to take it one step at a time. And I will say this, if you weren't worth it to him, he would not have called this court. It's time for the results. Miles versus Turner. Christine Turner. Mr. Miles, you are not the father. We've had a connection ever since the day that I met her mom. 
That's why I went and looked. I'm not interested in finding my father. Here for you if you want to talk. Thank you. A woman is unsure if a man is the... I feel so sad. Like, that story is so sad. When two people come together to conceive a child, these days we have a lot of technology that could help you not to get pregnant. If you actually don't want to get pregnant, you can decide not to get pregnant. But if you decide to get pregnant, let's try. Try to be in that child's life as much as you can. Just try. Because it hurts the child more than it hurts the parents. Look at how hot this girl is. She says she's not even interested in finding her father. She's not. And then her mother made this man pay child support. Oh, God. Pay child support for a very long time. For many years. Knowing fully well that that man was not the father. But she was still paying. She made him pay child support. And still told the girl that the man is not her father. Why would she change her story? It's so sad. Even the man feels so bad. He wants the child. He wanted to be in the child's life. He wanted to be in her life. But the girl was not interested. Because of course what her mother has been feeding her with. And of course because she's a girl who wanted her father at some point in her life. So yeah, I can understand. But it's so sad. It's very painful. Let's move to the next story. Man is the father. Even though he owes $21,000 in back child support. You currently owe almost $21,000 in back child support. Yes, Your Honor. You say your paycheck is garnished each week, leaving you only $70. Miss Frazier, you admit you've always known the plaintiff may not be. He's been held financially responsible for him. Yes, Your Honor. You say he really just needs to get over it. Yes, Your Honor. He reveals he's had his doubts and that he's been waiting 18 years to determine the paternity. Your Honor, uh, we were in a relationship. She comes to me and tells me she's pregnant. I always ask her, are you for sure it is mine? You know, the doctor said right there, no, you're unable to have children. And now, $21,000. Never asked child support from you. I never asked them to get child support from you, ever. You can look at the paperwork. Uh, the yeah. paperwork always said the other guy's name. Uh-huh. That's so 18 hard. years. Yeah. Now I've been living. Ms. Fraser claims she never said the child was his. When you found out you were pregnant, did you tell Mr. Whistler it was his child? I told him I was pregnant, and he told me it wasn't his. This other guy no. signed what the birth certificate? What about the birth certificate? certificate? No. If I wanted that kid to have, to have last my last name. name, and I wanted to claim him, I would be there for the birth, sleeping with this other man all this time not until the child was six months old regarding the paternity yes your honor she told me straight up yes it could be this other man he should be standing up if it's his kid he, he should be standing up for it I ain't seen they that were money. taking most of my paycheck mr whistler brought the evidence to court to prove his claims from the child enforcement of the state of missouri i've never received child support this letter from the state of missouri indicates total past due support twenty thousand and so the other man may be the father mm -hmm. yes your honor were you receiving assistance from the state uh food stamps they're going to then follow up with the father who did you tell the state did you put down mr whistler's name to that was the name on the birth certificate under the law you are yes, the legal honor. father yes, your honor i certainly did but i was to the impression it was my child and now here twenty one thousand dollars later in debt he brought a witness to court because your relationship to mr whistler is fiance i've been doing some okay. research um and that's what i have here on child support and this evidence uh, is yes. is presented to prove what exactly miss owsley the penalty for lack of child support and mm -hmm. i've seen them take people for less than the twenty one thousand dollars it's just not right you know for me to be the twenty one thousand dollars is paying in demand <laughs> i'm sorry i'm laughing but he has mentioned twenty one thousand dollars like a hundred times Let's continue, please. I feel bad for him, actually, but, yeah. To be in this position because of this lady here. I would, could have been the only person that could have been this child's father. And never told you there was the other person. Yes, Your Honor, until about six months later. Watch this shocking revelation by Mr. Whistler. The money to loan me to get her a ring, and I proposed to this lady. She uh, took the ring and said, not right now, and put the ring on her finger, that this is taken care of a after 18 years. Was Miss Fraser aware he was paying child support? He's been on the hook. Yeah, I've tried to get them to do it, and they have never done it. So I pay for it. I have never asked for anything from you. No. Yeah. 
It is the same no. thing. And you feel like Dallas looks like you in many ways. And so if he is your son. I will step up to the plate and do what I have to do. The child, Dallas, was invited to the stand. Have to ask you wow. directly. Do you believe Mr. Whistler is your biological father? As I was growing up, I did believe he was my father, but I was always told. She always tried to list another, the other person. Have you ever met this other man? Yes, I have. Do you refer to him as dad? I did one time. Do you have a relationship with that man? Not anymore. Do you refer to him as your dad? Yes, all the time. You know he's on your birth certificate, right? Yes, Your You Honor. do know that, listed as your father. Yes, Your Honor. And nothing's been done about that for 18 years. It's time for the results. When it comes to the paternity of Mr. Dallas Whistler, Mr. Whistler, you are not his father. I'm wanting to spend time with you. You know that, you know, they say this thing that women are the only ones that know the paternity of their child. Only women know, except if they want to be mean to you. Those are, that was a video I think I, I did a reaction to. The woman actually knew that the man was not the father, but she was collecting child support from him. So usually, this woman actually knew from the onset that this man was not the father. But the father, the guy wanted to be in his life. And he was paying child support. And she is actually, was actually saying that she's not been getting any money. And that she's never asked him for anything because the child is not his. This is sad. I feel so sad for this man. Because imagine you wanting to be a father, but the woman is not allowed. Not that she's even allow you, but because the child actually doesn't belong to you. You understand what I mean? It's a bit dicey and really sad. But let's hear the next story. I think it's the last story. In this episode, Amanda Nicey is the father of his daughter and demands payback and child support. Mr. Harvey, you are asking the court to award you $496 and for a child you adamantly deny. Ms. Jett, in response to Mr. Harvey's suit, you have petitioned the court for the results of a paternity test. Yes, Your Honor. Judge Lauren Lake asked how their relationship was. Take me back first. You met on a dating site. I met her on a dating site and she got pregnant two weeks after. I actually moved with um, Harvey in July. We had sex every day. I was having sex with him every day. You meet each other, mm -hmm. move in together. Yes. 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 All right. When he found out she was pregnant, he didn't have doubts. So happy. He was happy. And Mr. Harvey. I was happy. Because you thought it was your child. Yes. Why'd you stop talking? Cheating on me. Okay. So there was a breakdown in the relationship yes. and then it, it ended. After the baby was born, she demanded child support and other financial assistance. I have evidence to show you that I have bought everything she demanded I me. Asked him much so I, have, I have evidence right here. I'd like to I get said, stuff. okay, Your Honor, I have the receipt and it might be the date on there. You need to make sure you bring Step me up. all of these things five, her car seat, six, a baby crib, ten, her lotion and body wash. Yes, I said that. Yes, but I. And took, then you responded back. Okay. Okay. I bought it. It took him months and months to buy this stuff. She claimed he didn't get everything. I don't think that counts. Check it out yourself. And he did not get all of those things, Your Honor. He didn't. No, don't act like you did. I didn't get a pillow. <laughs> so how did he start doubting the child's paternity? You claim now you did all this, okay. and how did you get to that point? When did you start putting two and two together? Be specific. Yeah. After she had the baby, she was in a relationship. Your and Honor. another thing is she had the baby and tagged the dude's name in the picture. If the baby mom, why didn't you tag me in the your picture? Honor. Well, why the picture still stayed on your, your Facebook? Honor. Oh, you know she tagged another dude's name in the picture. Here's his evidence for that. Your Honor. I got evidence Your for Honor. that too. Please. First of all, um, I put a picture of my daughter on Facebook. Why would you tag another man's Your name Honor. on your, your baby's Honor. photo? I did not tag at all. I actually wrote the dude and I said, hey, my daughter, dad thinks you, that you're her father. Why, why would this and guy you don't know tag himself in her picture? But you didn't do it. No, I never did. He claims he's been supporting the child financially, which she denies. He brought evidence for that too. You have been supporting the no, child. Yes, right ma'am. So what about the other times? So he hasn't time. given you money multiple no. times. I only have evidence for that. So she's going to say, yeah, he gave it. She got to. What? She would have said I never gave her that. Wait, there's more evidence. This time from Miss Jet. See, you brought some evidence? Yes, Your Honor, I did. He's suing me for um, $500. Every time she called me, I gave it to her, Your Honor. Real expenses. Yes, as it, it is. I have. To I provide all these things by myself. Defeating, <laughs> defeating the loan the state provides. She get weak. I ain't trying to make so, a You may step back to your podium, ma'am. Judge Lauren asked if he only doubts paternity based on a Facebook tag, or there's more. 
So, Mr. Harvey, your doubt is just based on a fake I think that is no, it's no, it's not, not that. It's not that, Yana. She was like, she told me she was pregnant or whatever, so I went and got her and stuff like that. So I go through her phone, right? She yeah. telling this dude, she said, you need to pay for this abortion. And then she telling some other dude he need to pay for abortion. Is this true? Miss Jet? Is it your contention? You were not intimate with anyone else no, during the window of conception. No, I was not. Mr. Harvey also brought a witness to court who had a lot to say about the child's features. Am stand. Step to the podium. I'm his auntie. You're his aunt. Looking at my nephew's other children, we have strong genes. His brother's kids look alike. And I have strong they have, the, they have the same head. His children look just alike from different moms. Babe has no genes of us at all. Well, that's my opinion. And you see it in all the other children? Yes, only the red color, they're both red. That's, that's not good enough. Miss Jet brought her witness, too. You are... Sardasia's mother. He called me and told me that Sardasia was pregnant and how I shouldn't worry about I you did leaving. I did not know her. I did no, not know. No, you didn't I did know me. Know oh, you called me. Don't sit up there and lie. You did call I me. I did not. I just you lied. met Sardasia. She didn't tell me. Is, it, now. is it your contention, yeah. Miss Canty, that he called say he was going to take care of it? That's that what he was. was it. Did you ever have any conversation with your daughter? No, I didn't even know she was dating him. I didn't even know about him till I got that phone call. It's time for the results. Pertaining to Nolani Harvey. Mr. Harvey, you are not her father. Check out what she said next and the ruling. That's fine. I was in a relationship be previous. Before. Oh, now you're in a relationship. Yes. Miss Jet, you're so diplomatic. Very now. diplomatic. And you said no, and then as soon as I read the result, you went straight into politician mode. I just think that's a little unfair. It is this court's opinion that you are entitled to the $496. So the ruling is for the plaintiff. How can some people be this mean? What? Ah. She came up with all this jaga 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 like as if she was right. I, I, and she was actually wrong. The man was not even the father of the child. So what was the whole argument about? The man was trying to say, you know the thing is, once you trust your instinct, even though he didn't have real evidence, right? But he trusted his instincts. And his auntie was like, oh, your child didn't have the same features. And probably he's been putting two and two together and been, and been watching her attitude coupled with the text message. Now she's now saying she was dating somebody. Come on. But she also said during the court session that, you know, she wasn't intimate with anybody during the um, period of the child's conception. Some people are so complicated. Oh my gosh. Some people are so complicated. I feel like people need to think about other people more. Yeah, you think about yourself too, but think about people more. Think about how your actions will actually hurt them. This is so sad. I feel sorry for these three men. What do you guys think? Because if these men were your brothers... How would you feel if this man were your son? How would you feel? I can't imagine having to take care of a child that's not mine. I mean, yeah, of course, some people um, adopt, some people do all of these things, take care of people's children. Yeah, that's, that's that. That's, that one is there. But being in a relationship married to somebody who has been deceiving you is, a, is on another level. So yeah, what do you guys think about this man? Do you think that paternity fraud is now on the rise? What do you think this man can do? I, I, I what do you think that? Because I know that people have been to having this conversation of, oh, when your your child, when your wife has a baby, you guys go do a DNA test immediately the child is born. Do you guys support that? I don't because I have my reservations about it. If you don't trust me, don't marry me. You get, but if you get to marry me, why, why, why do you have? But some people are not trustworthy, like these women. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what do you guys think about this video? Kindly you drop your thoughts, opinions, observations in the comment section below. Do well to like, share, subscribe, turn on post notification bell, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.